Mayor Lowry. Let me follow up on this. My questions are both for Mr. Wharton and Mr. Carpenter. Ms. Uh, Chumney, please feel free to chime in. I want to start uh, with the... Uh, <laughs> with, 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 I don't know I, if we can do that, but I'll yeah, go. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give okay. her that opportunity. Okay. On the one Shelby, um, Mayor Wharton, why didn't we hear this seven years ago instead of one Memphis right now, which, by the way, was coined by the Chamber of Commerce. It is not a new program. Why didn't we hear about one Shelby seven years ago? I don't know of the Chamber uh, coining that. Uh, call it what? The it, one Memphis? You don't have to have a, a name tag, uh, Mr. Lowry, to call people together and work together as I have done. Ask any of the municipal mayors out there, uh, do I meet with them eight times a year on economic development plans? Do I meet with them regularly? I understand that. All I'm talking about is your One Memphis slogan, which should have been One Shelby seven years ago, which I feel may evolve into a One Shelby as we talk about metro government. That's all I have on that one. The other question deals with courage, the courage to speak out against injustice. You did a radio program, and the host of that program refers to some candidates at using the N-word. You said nothing. Why not? Uh, Mr. Lowry, Mayor Lowry, that was uh, dead wrong on my part. I should have responded to that. I will never try to explain that. Fact of the matter is, I was so shocked. Uh, that was just dead wrong. No way to explain that. I should not have done it, and I have the courage to say that. Uh, that I, I applaud enough. you for that. That is courage. Thank you for admitting that for the first time. Mr. Carpenter, you've also done this program, and you advertise on this man's blog. Why do you do that when the chief citizen of this city must be a unifier? trying to bring people together rather than to separate the races? Well, um, Mr. Lowry, it's a matter of getting our message out to the public. Uh, we have been uh, excluded uh, from the uh, mainstay media uh, as far as coverage of our vision for our campaign, and it's an opportunity to be able to By share By using someone who is racially divisive in no. this community? No, that's not the reason, because it's airwaves, and all of the uh, citizens in Memphis can call in and ask questions, and, and they can hear. Let me hear. move to another subject then. You were also on that show. He asked you about how much money you made as counsel for bonding with the city. You never yeah. answered that question. Why not? Well, that's not true. I did answer that question. Well, how much, what is the answer? Well, the answer is they ask about over the past 17 years. No, how much did you make? Well, I, I was We need to let him have a little more time to answer. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, it averaged about $300,000 per year, so if you multiply that by 17 years, that's about $5 billion. Which you will be giving up if you are elected, correct? Absolutely. All right. Um, since I have a few more minutes here, as it relates one to more the, minute. One <laughs> minute. All right. One more minute. As it relates to the pyramid, um, you may possibly play a role in this, yet you called for possibly the pyramid to be torn down just as we're on the brink of signing a contract with Bass Pro. Well, my, to correct that, the question was, if the Memphis Bass Pro deal did not go forward, then well, what would be I understand. Uh, the well, suggestion? It, it, it so apparently I, will go forward. All we're right. going to present it to the council well, in the coming week. Point, all right, one, one other quick question for Mr. Wharton and Mr. Carpenter. Mr. Wharton, did you have Reginald French working in, in your campaign? Uh, yes. Mr. Uh -huh. Carpenter, do, do you now have Reginald French in your campaign? I do not. I think he works with Mr. Wharton. Now, wait just a minute. Now, did you have, did wait, you wait, have wait. Reginald French wait. in your campaign, Mr. Carpenter? You asked me if I had him working in my campaign now. Did you have him, sir? He was. That's a yes or a no. He consulted right. earlier. Okay. The wait. point I'm making is. You know what? You, I, you made your point. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, but I do, I want to give if each of yeah, you 30 wait, seconds wait. To, to elaborate a little bit more on the I Reginald don't know French what. issue. Because that's an explosive name oh, for some, in some sectors. Let me tell you Go this, ahead. and I'm smiling. Please forgive me. This is serious.